this video, we will break down the science behind focus. So watch till the end if you want to learn how to get more focused. And by focus, I do not mean focused on your to-do list. There are way better things to focus on, like the activities that are most meaningful to you. You know, the kind that give you something super important during retirement, a sense of purpose. I'm Sin Meyer, and as a retirement coach and life coach for older adults, it's my mission to help you live a healthy, engaged, and fulfilling lifestyle that's full of purpose and passion. Specifically, in the life phase of retirement, when it's your time to shine and do the most meaningful, exciting, adventurous things on your terms. A lot has changed since the days when retirement meant sitting on the porch and rocking away your golden years. In the modern world, retirement is a time for growth and change and lifelong learning. A lot of today's most successful retirees are redefining old age by embracing new passions. They're reaching for dreams that weren't possible before and they're finding fulfillment in new and exciting activities. One hugely important factor in that success is focus. We all have a certain amount of focus that we can give to a task at any given time, right? And we often find ourselves being pulled in different directions. There's so many things we want to do, but they get shoved to the side because of the things that we have to do and the things we're supposed to do, which makes it so hard to stay on track with the projects and activities that matter the most. This has been the experience of so many of my clients during retirement, and that's why I want to share with you the science behind your lack of focus and specific actions that you can implement right away to have success. So let's dive right in. Number one, avoid multitasking at all costs. Most of us are guilty of multitasking at some point in our lives, if not all the time, until you realize how it slows you down and scatters your brain. Whether it's paying attention to the TV while you're checking your email or reading a book, or even if you're distracted overthinking something that's heavy on your mind and or not being fully present and mindful of now, you might find yourself doing at least two things at once. It's very common. But what a lot of people don't realize in the moment is that multitasking can actually shrink your focus and productivity, even though it might feel like the opposite. It's like a wild trick. More specifically, multitasking makes it 40% more timely to complete and only 2.5% of the population is good at it. I used to be a huge fan of multitasking because it made me feel like I was getting more done. By having my hands in a million jars, from picking up a kid's sock from the living room floor on the way to the kitchen to grab some water, to coming back to my desk office with 45 tabs open on my computer browser and then checking my phone and answering an email. It was a mess. But really, do you think I was actually focused and going deep on any of those topics? Definitely not. I felt like I was being productive though. I learned through burnout, however, that if you want to get more done in less time, focusing on one single task at a time is the ticket. In with the single tasking and out with the multitasking. By doing less, you will actually accomplish more. Another big part of avoiding multitasking is also your awareness level and how mindful you are, which brings us to number two, be present and practice mindfulness. You know how sometimes when you're all stressed out and things seem like they can't get any worse, but then they do, kind of like Murphy's Law? This is called distress, and there's no way for focus and clarity in your mind to exist while you're in a state of distress. When the project you want to complete seems overwhelming, the stress and anxiety from your giant to-do list can build up and up and you abandon the task at hand, usually in the form of procrastinating. When this happens, one of the best things you can do is reel it back in and practice mindfulness. Bring yourself back to the present moment and focus on your current step instead of the future outcome. Whether it's breathing, journaling, meditating, or just taking a moment to step back and be mindful, bring yourself out of your head and into your body in the present moment instead of your desired outcome or getting to your goal already. When you focus on the outcome, you start to dread that gap that exists between your current stage and your end goal. And normally the how, as in all the steps between that gap, get in the way and it becomes overwhelming. 
This is a gap, by the way, that happens in all creative processes. In fact, Chase Jarvis, a very successful entrepreneur, author, and a star photographer, calls this the creative gap. The trick is to focus on your present position within the gap and to appreciate your progress to get you to your current stage. Because that in and of itself took work and experience. So having that gratitude for the present moment, that mindfulness, will instantly shift any you stress the good kind of stress where you're challenged again and focused on why you want to have an outcome in the first place. It brings you back to your why, which is super important. Number three, use the magic of micro steps. If you're familiar with any of our content, you know that I'm obsessed with micro stepping your way to any level of success. And one of the huge benefits of micro steps is it keeps you single tasking and focused on one step. In our full program, Rewire My Retirement, I recommend a pace of one incremental micro step per day. Regardless of your cadence and time frame. do it so you focus on one single micro step at a time. It will give you laser sharp focus. And like our last tip, it'll keep you away from the overwhelm of your giant to-do list or the gap between where you are and your desired outcome. Think of it this way. If you had to climb a mountain, it is way more manageable to think about the next literal step rather than say 30,000 steps to get to the top. 30,000 steps or even 1,000 steps sounds much more burdensome than one single step. It's just how the brain works to get focused. Clear out all the other steps and make room to go deep in your present moment. This magic formula of breaking your goal down into micro steps and mini goals works literal magic when it comes to goal setting. I have seen it work wonders for people in retirement specifically. Speaking of steps, number four is to take more physical steps. Move your body. If you're wondering what physical exercise has to do with not losing focus in life, the connection is there. The benefits of physical activity go beyond improving your mood and boosting your energy, which are great benefits to begin with. Research has shown that it can help with your concentration and ultimately it gives you a better way for your brain to allocate cognitive resources like focus or attention span when you're struggling. A 20 minute walk boosts your focus for up to 60 minutes. And even light aerobic exercise like jogging is linked to better cognitive performance and concentration on your tasks at hand. So it's worth getting up and moving. Number five, take breaks. We all know if you're too tired, you've run out of steam and you can't give it your best. Fatigue can be more than physical. It can also be emotional and mental. So sometimes taking care of yourself means taking a break and you don't have to feel guilty about it because you'll be way more effective and productive when you have the energy and focus. So reset your brain and remember that you have control over where you spend your energy, energy over everything. So spend it wisely. Take your well-deserved breaks without hesitation because they are vital to being productive and feeling accomplished. Number six, avoid distractions. Distractions are everywhere. They come in the form of social media, your TV, your phone, any screen really these days. When you lose focus, just about anything around you can seem more interesting than what you're supposed to be doing. But distractions can lead to attention fragmentation where you're unable or unwilling to focus on any single project or task. So if you want to be productive and focused, try physically removing any distractions from your area. This is especially important for older adults. A brain scan study at the University of Toronto found that older adults are distracted more easily compared to younger adults because of the decreased brain activity in areas that enable your concentration. So the easier you can make it to focus in your physical surrounding, the better. And last but not least is number seven, rediscover your passions. When you lose focus or get stuck, sometimes it's time for a bit of inspiration. And one of the best ways to keep your passion alive is by remembering your why. Why did you start in the first place? Find out where the initial spark came into play. Follow that energy and that passion. I believe passion is energy. Follow that spark that lights you up. It will guide you toward what exactly to focus on so that you can achieve meaningful goals and feel accomplished and have a retirement that's full of purpose. Feeling totally accomplished and satisfied is unlike anything else, as you know. You get to lose yourself in a flow of what you're doing, which is like a super focus. 
That is what gives you a big taste of your post-career purpose, and that is so empowering. If you're someone who's craving that sense of accomplishment and purpose, there's a big chance it's connected to your concentration. It's almost like when your purpose slips away, your focus slips away. If you are experiencing a fogginess build up around you and maybe you're scattered and not super clear on where to direct your energy and your focus, that's totally normal. And we are here to help. And I do this every day. I always say it takes a small pivot for a big trajectory change and that everything starts with finding clarity first. Focus comes with clarity. If you want hands-on help, just click on the link below to schedule a complimentary breakthrough session with me personally. This call is most of the time a much needed pivot for people. Everyone deserves a fulfilling retirement and my personal mission is to help you have one that's full of purpose and passion. Thank you so much for being here and being a part of our mission. So please like, share, and subscribe so that together we can build better retirement lives and shift our culture to honor older adults and the unique gifts that you have to share with the world. I'll see you in the next video.